What's up, everybody? You're watching On Air with Nick Java, the Nick Java podcast. It looks like the neocon movement in Washington, D.C. is coming to an end. That's right, guys. That's right, guys. Let's roll the tape. President-elect Donald Trump announced on Saturday that former Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley or former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo won't be part of his second administration. In a social media post, Trump expressed his gratitude for their past contributions and service to the nation, noting that he enjoyed working with both of them. Haley, who served as U.S. ambassador to the United Nations during Trump's his term, had previously endorsed him for re-election, despite having been a vocal critic of his during uh, the Republican primaries. Pompeo, meanwhile, held the position of CIA director under Trump before becoming Secretary of State. All right, guys, I think this is a good thing. Uh, the neocon movement has kind of been along the lines of politicians like George Bush, Dick Cheney, um, you had, uh, Nikki Haley, uh, which is also very, very, very close to Kamala Harris and, you know, Joe Biden, you know, and you guys might think, Nick, what the heck are you talking about? Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, they're on different sides than Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo and these people. Actually, you would be wrong. Um, see, you have, you have in Washington, both sides have uh, vested interest in their own personal gain through them having ties of what's called the industrial military complex. And what these politicians do is they basically, they basically push for war in our country. Trump is for our country, our nation. Um, he's, he's, for not sending our kids to war. He's for people being able to we're, we're to have a strong army, but not have to go over there and get people killed. Uh, Trump is very anti-war. You know, I'm hoping they can wrap up the Ukraine-Russia war in the coming months. You know, a lot of people have died over there. I think my favorite part of the campaign this past campaign season was when they asked Trump about, you know, about the Ukraine and Russian war. And he said, I just want people to stop dying. Let's roll that. Do you give Ukraine weapons I was and impeached funding? by a crazy woman named Nancy but Pelosi. But the question here is, would you give Ukraine weapons and funding if you were I elected? would sit down. Let, let me just put it a nicer way. Uh, if I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. Because I'll meet with Putin, I'll meet with Zelensky. They both have weaknesses and they both have strengths. And within 24 hours, that war will be settled. It'll be over. It'll be absolutely over. Do you over. want Ukraine to win this war? Uh, I don't think in terms of winning and losing. I think in terms of getting it settled so we stop killing all these people and breaking them. <laughs> this, this country. Now, Follow up on that. You but said you don't think in you terms have to of do winning is you have to losing. Get the, you have Mr. To President, get Europe. can I just follow up on that? Because that's a really important Excuse statement me, let me that just you just made up. there. Can you say if you want Ukraine or Russia to win this war? I want everybody to stop dying. I want everybody to stop dying. I want everybody to stop dying. They're dying. Russians and Ukrainians. I want them to stop dying. Guys, I think Donald Trump is going to be our best chance at the moment for actual world peace. It sounds crazy to say that, but under Donald Trump, we had no new wars. And I believe this time under Donald Trump, he will be able to negotiate. He is a businessman. He's an amazing businessman. And he'll be able to negotiate these wars, like he said. These presidents have pros and they have cons. It's a matter of making sure they can end this war in the most peaceful way that they possibly can. <clears throat> Guys, a lot of people get caught up on these little things, but I'm going to tell you guys something. I truly believe we're going to be in a better place. I truly believe Donald Trump is not a war hawk like Nikki Haley, Mike Pompeo, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Dick Cheney. Look at their track records. Obama, it's crazy all this stuff goes on because I think back about it. Obama drone struck an American citizen. 
killed an American citizen during his presidency and never, never had to answer to it. You guys remember that? Terror operations after the death of two hostages in a drone strike. The United States wants to avoid killing any more hostages. One of those killed in that strike was an American. President Obama revealed the deaths on Thursday. He apologized to the families of the two victims. David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, good morning. Good morning. You know, President Obama once promised that before the CIA launched a drone strike, it would know to a, quote, near certainty that no innocent civilians would be killed. I profoundly regret what happened. On behalf of the United States government, I offer our deepest apologies to the families. Despite what the president said were hundreds of hours of surveillance of the Al-Qaeda compound, two very innocent aid workers, American Warren Weinstein and Italian Giovanni Loporto, were killed by a CIA drone strike in January. Clearly, this calls for a thorough review of what happened. Intelligence analysts never detected any sign of the hostages, but did see evidence of a senior al-Qaeda operative. That seemed to make it even more unlikely hostages were in the compound. Guys, this is what I'm getting at. I'm not saying Obama should go to prison, but what I'm saying is he actually killed an American citizen. Two of them, actually. And his massive drone strikes. Enemy spotted. Okay, that's crazy. And then, you know, you have a current administration under the Biden and Harris administration that want to call Donald Trump a, a Nazi. What? A uh, threat to democracy. What? Donald Trump has never killed an American citizen. Donald Trump has more charges against him than any mobster in the history of American society. <laughs> Donald Trump has, it's insane. Obama drone struck and killed innocent people and just got on TV and said, oh, my bad, sorry. We'd like to offer you guys apology. What? Guys, it's not fair. I'm really hoping this year we can come together as a society work together and, you know, really put ourselves in a position where we are more of a country that really cares about its citizens. Like I think Donald Trump's going to do for us guys. I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed, blessed day. And you watch your own air, Nick job, Nick job, a podcast. You know, this is not me picking on Barack Obama. This is not me picking on Nikki Haley or Mike Pompeo. It's me basically saying, don't talk to me like that. It's out with the old and in with the new, guys. It's time for us to start looking out for ourselves and get these war hawks out of freaking power. Yes. You guys have a great day. You watch your own ever Nick Jobber Nick Jobber podcast. Skate.